At first and five, a San Antonio man shot and killed in his own front yard as police tried to arrest him. Today we learn more about the man who was killed, 55-year-old Daryl Zamalt Sr. Dylan Collier piecing together the police reports and learning why his loved ones say it's an inaccurate picture of who he was. <laughs> It's really difficult to grieve when there's a, lot, a lack of clarity as to how this went down. Celeste Brown and other loved ones of Daryl Zamalt Sr. coming to his defense this afternoon, pushing back against what they called a rushed narrative put out by the San Antonio Police Department. Yesterday, five officers, three in plain clothes and two in uniform, attempted to take Zamalt into custody on active warrants. Police say he hit one of them with a can of paint, then grabbed an officer's gun during a struggle forcing another officer to shoot and kill him. SAPD officials have not released body-worn camera footage of the shooting. This afternoon, SAPD officials did release several reports involving Zamalt dating back nearly a year, filed by an ex-girlfriend that included allegations Zamalt harassed her in person and over the phone and tampered with her vehicle. The defenders also obtained a warrant against Zamalt for stalking, claiming in early July he dragged the woman, injuring her, then left the scene. Brown called the accusations false, saying he was married three decades to his wife before she passed away and never had a single incident of domestic violence. So if he was in love with the love of his life for 30 years, all I have to say is look at that. And Mayor Ron Nuremberg released a statement this afternoon that reads in part, quote, I am requesting that the footage be released as soon as the investigation is complete. It is in the public interest for San Antonians to be able to view the video themselves. The city claims it is not allowed to release body-worn camera footage during an ongoing investigation. State law actually says that they may withhold it while an investigation is ongoing. That's why you've seen other major police departments in Texas in cities like Dallas, Arlington, Fort Worth, Austin, and even Houston last week begin to release footage from officer shootings when they shoot and kill a person that is in their custody even before those investigations are completed. Reporting live outside Public Safety Headquarters, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.